Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. We're here on the ground in CYGK with some beautiful new scenery. But today it's about the data monitor, and we're going to use the HJet to teach us how to go ahead and find those things using SPAD Next Data Monitor. Now we've used the data monitor before, however things have changed, and so now we want to replace that video with this updated video. We're going to use the HJet because it relies heavily on LVARs because of the complex systems that are involved. Because this jet is heavily automated, a lot of the switches can't just directly be bound to an AVAR because you need to enable the system to do the automated functions. So when we look at the cabin oxygen switches, so if we zoom in, you're going to see that in this area, we have the deployment of the masks. So you can have it set to off norm, in which case norm is automated. So anytime we see things with norm on them, that means that you are allowing the automation and the computer system to decide if it needs to do it. However, you can always override these things. So for example, I can hold the current cabin pressure and allow myself the control of it or allow the automation to control it. Same thing with a cabin dump. It can automatically cabin dump, but if there was a problem, I could pop the guard and I could click it. The same thing happens with the switches. So here we have the ability to disable the masks, allow the system to drop them, or when we click here, now what's going to happen is as we look in the back, we now have dropped the masks. We're also going to learn using the data monitor how we can assign a button to make the masks go away. And by the way, there are masks in the toilet. So how are we going to learn to do this? Well, we're going to go over to SPAD Next. And inside of SPAD Next, we're going to come into the add-on section. Here we have the data monitor, the event monitor, the ability to create our expressions, uh, add scripts, run client events, and even set up virtual devices if you are licensed for those. Now, one of the other features I really like about the data monitor is you can undock it. And I almost always come in and hit the undock so I can actually drag this off and put it on another screen. We're going to leave it here so we can see it. But by doing this, it still allows me to go back to my joysticks. So as you could recall, we were playing with the masks, the oxygen masks inside of the sim. So real quick, we're going to be trying to figure out what is this switch. So to do that, we would add LVARs. Now, this is where things have changed. This is no longer going to update. The event window is not going to update because there are too many LVARs loaded. If you have 20 VARs or more loaded in the list, this event will not update. However, do not fear. There is still an easy way to figure out what you just changed. So right now, I am going to, in the sim, rotate that switch. And you can see, actually, data live changing here. You can see the last changed event, and you can see number of changes. So if you click on last changed, you can sort the list by the last changed items. So yes, we still get things that are constantly changing, and then we can use the X to close those out and remove them from our list. So that way we can remove any noisy VARs. You can then toggle through the last changed again to bring the last changed items to the top. The other thing you can sort on is number of changes. So if we come into that sim again and I keep spinning that knob, you see that number drastically changing as we change the knob. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what does each position mean. So I'm going to move that switch all the way to the off position. So now looking in the list, we could sort by changes or last changed. And I can discover that yes, the LVAR is HJet pressurization cabin 
oxygen mask. And minus one is the off position. And I can go and click back into the sim and move it into norm and I see it changes to zero. Then I can click on drop mask and that changes to a one. So I now know what the three variables or the one variable but the three vars, the values, what they're going to be. So I'm going to move this off onto another screen for a moment and now we want to go ahead and use this. This is just temporary, it's a way to show how to do it. So we're going to add an event and for the crank setting I'm going to add an action and because we need to change the value of the LVAR directly, we can't use a simulation event. We need to change data value. And now that we know it's an LVAR and we know what it's called, we can search for parts of it like oxy mask. So there it is, pressurization oxygen mask. This needs to be minus one. Now you could set limits, but since we're setting the value, this doesn't need to be used for this type of a button. So we go ahead and we click OK. Now you can easily control C, control V to copy and paste, highlight it, come over to the drop down and we can now change triggers in 0912. So now instead of crank, because I've already got crank done, now we want normal mode. So when it's in the middle and we're going to change that to now be zero and then we can rinse and repeat grab it copy paste it change trigger and now we're going to go to when it's set to ignition and now it needs to be a value of one So when we turn the knob, we see it change in the UI. We see the counts of it writing it being written. So we know that those have been updated. So now when we go back to the sim, we see those values move. So if you recall, in the back of the sim, we've got that problem where those masks are currently down. So what we need to do is in SPAD we need to figure out how to change that VAR. Now of course they did drop but they won't repeat. That variable is not going to change so it's going to be hard to find it inside of the last list. But we do know that it's a VAR related to the HJET and that it is going to be LVARs. So another thing you can do is you could go to the add data because if we were to clear all of this out and we were only to add a few data vars so we go ahead and say add data and we're going to look for oxy mask so pressurization cabin mask so we just add that one value but now because there's less than 20 we see this list is updating. So that's the other thing. If you put a few items in and you touch things in the UI, you can start to figure out what they are. So I'm going to go add some data and we're going to type in cabin. And again, we're going to sort on LVARs. And now we can look through and we can see anything that's related to cabin, like PAC, PAC's cabin light cabin shades, cabin altitude, cabin target, cabin relay. So this doesn't have cabin in it for those, the actual LVAR for the masks. So let's go ahead and just type in mask. So now we find there is an HJET masks dropped and its current value is one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that in. Now obviously we know we can't change that value um, from within the sim, but what's neat is you can also write values right inside of here. So I changed it back to a zero, and if we go back to the main cabin, 
you're going to see that they're gone. And if we use that knob and I switch it to the deploy, they drop again. And if we come in, that one, they go ahead and they hide. But they instantly appear because we left the switch in the one position. So we have to change that LVAR back to zero. So by moving our switch, as we saw, back to the norm position, and now if we change that to a zero, we see that it disappears. So now that we know which LVAR we want, and the fact that this is a one or a zero, but we're gonna learn how to toggle LVARs and write this value as well. So we're gonna go to the button pressed. We'll use short, that's fine. We're going to add action. We're gonna change data value. And remember, we're gonna search for mask. We're gonna see masks drop. Um, normally I just hit the set because I don't need to deploy them. But for the purpose of explaining how we can toggle, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the increment. So whatever the value is, it's gonna add one to it. But what we'll do is set limits of zero and one, because there is only a zero and one value, it's a Boolean, but we're gonna allow rollover. And what this does for us is it's going to switch to one, and when it adds one, because it's not allowed to go above one, it will roll over to the beginning of the count. So now that we have that set up, we can go ahead and look in the cabin, and when we press that button, they're going to drop and they're gonna stow. So now, when we actually turn the masks and deploy them, and we switch it back to norm, unlike everybody else who doesn't have access to LVARs, and now they have to restart to get the masks to stow, that's okay. You can go in and you can press a button to hide them. Well, it's a beautiful day. We're all wrapped up on this one and we're gonna get out of here. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Come along on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Have a great day.